Hey, it's Alicia from The Platinum Life. Our show is all about shining a spotlight on the amazing women behind music's hottest names. But how well do they really know the music their men make? Genius is about to put their music knowledge to the test with The Platinum Life quiz. I'm gonna ace it. <laughs> Yay, that was easy. He's gonna be like, damn, babe, really? Finish the lyric from Kidding's Show Me. If I get a minute, I'll put your badass in blank. Detention. Finish this lyric from Nelly's EI. I'm a sucker for cornrows and blank. Manicured toes, yes. He is a sucker for cornrows, actually. Like, he loves me in cornrows. Finish this lyric from King Los's verse on Lil Wayne's No Reason. I used to steal out of blank. Now I'm so rich, this shit feel like I'm dreaming. Yo, I knew I knew y'all was gonna get me on the lyrics. Neemans. Boom. Finish the lyric from Eric Bellinger's Valet. I'm trying to talk to you, but blank. The music's too loud. Hey, <laughs> Girl, yes. I need a car place so we can vibe out. I ain't like your ex, you can let your guard down, cause you Yeah. Finish the lyric from Neo's Miss Independent. She got her own thing blank. That's why I love her. <laughs> How many number one hits has Nelly had on the Billboard Hot 100? I'm gonna say four. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Yay! What was the first song on King Los's debut, God Money War? War. <laughs> all right, all right, we get there. Before he went by Kidding, he was known as... Rockstar, we all know that one. In what year did Eric Bellinger win a Grammy? I'm gonna say 2011, cause that was the Fame album, I believe. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what was the first number one hit written by Neo? Mario, Let Me Love You. Which French Montana hit did Los appear on? Ocho Cinco, cause he wrote on it too, so that's, you know, he all over that. What country artist did Nelly collaborate with in 2004? Uh, 2004? You know what, I'ma say Tim McGraw. Yes! Yay! For what artist did Eric have his first big songwriting credit? Usher. Right? What? No, it was Usher. Let me see. Selena Gomez. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Which fifth harmony hit features Kid Ink? Worth it. How many albums has Neo released? Six. Which album sold more copies, Sweat or Suit? Oh, shit. I'm going to say Sweat. Was that the one he had sweat all over his body on the cover? That's the one that's wrong. Oh! <laughs> okay. In what year did Kid Ink appear on the XXL freshman class cover? I'm gonna go with 2014. 12? Damn, <laughs> so close. What was the name of Neo's group before going solo? Ooh, ooh. I, second nature? <laughs> Sorry. What artist does Eric Bellinger not shout out on 2015's iPod on Shuffle? Voice Men. <laughs> yeah! I was like, Joe to see H Town 112. Which King Low song was produced by DJ Mustard? Can't Fade Us. Which of these songs did Neo not sing the hook for? Big Sean. What song did Nelly perform at the Super Bowl in 2001? Uh, hush. Hot in here. Oh, I did. I I would think it would be his song. A uh, walk this way was in my mind, but oh, okay, that's okay. What Justin Bieber song did Eric Bellinger co-write? Right here. <laughs> Correct! Yay! 
What was Kidding's first song to hit the Billboard Hot 100? Show me. No? Really? Damn. <laughs> Which of these King Lowe's projects doesn't feature a Lola Monroe verse? Becoming King. Lola Monroe, you got five out of five? I am nice. I'm his other half, of course. I feel good. It's all right. <laughs> I feel good, but I should have got all five. Who got all five? Lola. 